You can only cover so many fatal crashes in which grieving family members swear their loved one always wore a seatbelt before you start to wonder a couple of things. Do people actually wear seatbelts as often as they say? Or is life so cruel that the one and only time they don't wear a seatbelt is the time they roll the car? Either way, there's no undoing the fatal mistake. At first, it's eerie to climb into a car in which someone has died. But then I realized they didn't actually die here, but in the ditch or on the road. If they'd stayed here, they might not be dead at all, which is the point of all this. This one mistake cost her her life. It's hard to imagine the grief that follows a traffic death. Where can I have to find a new normal? Learn how to live without her. Getting any worse. We mourn the loss of her, but we also mourn the loss of our dreams for her. But when you see a car like Brianna Reamer's, it just adds to the list of things that you suffer through. Or like the one sitting in Don Rasmussen's tow lot. We see a lot of it um, over the years. And you think dozens of people that, that certainly would have lived had they had their seatbelts on. That maybe this person didn't have to die. It's enough to make you cry. I get, I'm too emotional for this. <laughs> When young people die, it's harder. And he doesn't even know the people. He just tows the cars and hears the stories. Stories like this one. Richard Raines has kept his son's car. I kept it just to prove a point. His son Dylan and Dylan's girlfriend died when the car rolled and they were thrown. You can't believe it. I know he was a seatbelt person. I believe she was too. Three months ago, the Fox 9 investigators asked the Minnesota State Patrol and every county sheriff in the state to tell us when someone was killed or seriously hurt when they were thrown from their car. And this usually meant a rollover crash. It's tumbling like a football. Football's got that end for end tumble. Whenever possible, I inspected each car and climbed inside. In this crash, the car did exactly what it was designed to do. It absorbed all of the impact on the outside of the car. And here on the inside, especially in the passenger area, it's largely intact. There is room at my head, room at my sides, room all around. There was room to live if only the young girl riding here had been buckled safely in the car. What exactly does room to live mean? The way cars are designed has changed. They're built with what's called crumple zones. In any kind of crash, the front and back ends absorb the energy created by impact by compressing. In a rollover, the ends compress, the windshield often shatters, the sides of the car may bend in some, but the occupant area is supposed to hold up. Safety folks call this area the cage, and for good reason. It is remarkably strong, and if you're wearing your seat belt, it will hold you inside. But this is what they're gearing for, is protection of the occupants. Fly out of that protective cage, and there's nothing between you and the ground. They don't get dumped in a pile right there. So it says the vehicle comes back up, and they get pitched out. So they get pitched out on the high side. I have not come across a crash yet where the people would have been better off ejected. Gouge mark. The State Patrol was working this rollover crash just outside Mankato earlier this month. It appears as though the occupant was ejected due to the vault or the rollover. Uh, the vehicle then appeared to have landed on the roadway on top of the driver. In this car, too, there is room to live. If only the driver had stayed in the car. That was true in every rollover crash we investigated, every single one. This Hummer didn't hold up well in a high-speed rollover. Front and back ends literally sheared off, but just look at the cage that could have protected the driver. For the driver who was not wearing the seatbelt, there may well have been room to live. How about this pickup? No seatbelt for the driver. He flew out the window. Look at all of this room around me. The cab of this pickup is largely intact. This is room to live. In Faribault, 
We come to see one car, but the owner of Glenn's Towing, Don Rasmussen, has got more for us than that, like a lot of experience. I've been here for 40 some years, so I've seen a lot of accidents. The wisdom that comes with that. A lot of times friends will come and look at the car, you know, and say, man, I told her she's supposed to wear a seatbelt. And not one, but two cars to show us. This is the first. A young mother died when the car rolled and she was pitched out. But look, if she'd stayed inside, she probably wouldn't even have bumped her head. There's room to live. It is a short walk to the second car. Same type of situation, except that it, uh, it was a straightaway road, but he lost control. Went in the ditch, flipped her over a couple times, I'd say. The damage to the two cars is nearly identical. Inside, there is plenty of room to live. And guess what? This driver did. Why? He was wearing a seatbelt. I, I saw no injuries at all. You know, he was walking around out there. And the contrast between these two crashes says it all. This one here was just a few days ago. So when you look at this and you look at that, what do you think? If only. If only. It, uh, you know, buckle up. If only. Two of the most painful words a family can utter. Buckle up two of the most powerful. Brianna Reamer's family has said them all. We always taught her, wear your seat belt. This is what the inside of Brianna's car looks like. If she had stayed seat belted inside, she probably would have bumped her head, but there is plenty of room to live. Instead, she was thrown part way out the back window and the car landed on top of her. One time it all takes, you know. I tell the kids that you, you let your guard down one time and the messenger of misery will jump right on your back. Only the misery is not your own. Someday I wanted uh, to walk her down the aisle when she was getting married, and not walk her down the aisle in a casket. If only there is room to live. She had buckled up. There is room to live. If only room to live. Any of them had. There is definitely room to live. Room to live. Room to live. I've often said that if people saw what I, they'd wear a seatbelt every time. Now you've seen it. If you want more information on the importance of wearing seatbelts, go to myfox9.com, click on news, and then on the investigators. I'm Trish Van Pilsom for the Fox 9 Investigators.